Hey there YouTube, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Today we have a quick question. They said how do you take a uh, button on the worksheet and make it navigate to somewhere else on the workbook, kind of like a hyperlink. So we're going to discuss that. I'm going to go to the developer tab and quickly insert a ActiveX control. I'm going to use this command button. This looks just fine. It may look a little different to you because I'm zoomed out. This is 100%. This is zoomed in way a whole bunch. But anyway, let's right click and go to properties really quick because I don't want the caption to say command button one. I'm just going to say click me exclamation point. Good enough. I'm going to hit the X here. Uh, let's see here. Whoops, no, I wasn't trying to change that, I promise. Oh, you stinking thing. Okay, I hit escape. Anyway, so double click here on the button. Very simply, uh, in, in the question that we had, they wanted to go to, for example, uh, sheet 2, cell B. 25 okay so it's right here and um, so very simple um, double click on the button while you're in design mode here in the developer tab double click on the button so command button 1 underscore click so we're in a click event for the command button 1 very simply uh, what we want to do is we want to put this workbook to make sure it's within the same workbook dot sheets and then the sheet that we want to use is called sheet 2 that's the one that we want end quote and put it in your parentheses dot range open parentheses open quote and we're gonna say what what range do we want b25 I think end quote in parentheses and dot select so all that to say go to sheet 2 and specifically b21 is the range that we want to select that's simple, right? But there's a couple caveats that I want to add to this. What if somebody has hidden sheet 2? If they've hidden sheet 2, then you're out of luck unless you plan for it. So let's unhide that sheet and be sure to select that sheet. So there's going to be three lines of code. First line is going to be this work by dash, dot sheets, sheet 2, specifically dot visible equals true. Okay, make sure that it is not hidden, so that visible is true. And then uh, I'm going to also paste that sheet to business there, dot select. So what that does is it makes sure it's not hidden in the case that it is. Uh, if, it isn't, if it's already uh, visible, then oh well, it doesn't hurt anything to make it true. Uh, and then you select the sheet 2, and then you go to B25 and select it while you're on that sheet. That's it three little lines very simple right so let's debug through this here and let's let's go ahead and hide sheet 2 let's go back to sheet 1 and click our button now I'm gonna take it out of design mode and click on it now I put this little stop marker here normally it'll just go through and do it really quick but uh, we're gonna stop and go through all three lines so hit F8 to make uh, if you look down here first we're gonna make sheet 2 visible visible equals true so hit F8 there it is it's visible now now sheet 2 dot select so we're gonna it's going to select sheet 2 for us now range 20 b25 on sheet 2 dot select uh, oops let's click away from it and go back to VBA and hit F8 and it selects that range right there that you want so now let's just select some random range on sheet 2 and then go ahead and hide it go to sheet 1 and let's actually let's delete sheet uh, 3 here so let's go and run our macro now. Let's see. Yeah, we took the stop marker off. So here we go. Ready? And go. So we've just unhidden sheet 2, immediately selected it, and then selected B25. Guys, that's as simple as it is. So thanks for watching, and God bless.